All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to let users register for your site or create a new account and also log in. Now, before we get to the code, I need to talk to you about a couple core concepts. First of all, as you know, Django already comes with the ability to create users, and we know that because we already created an admin. Now, if you played around in your admin panel and clicked users, you're going to see that this is your information right here. So you have a username, email address, first name, last name, and we don't have to fill these out. We just left them blank. And also the staff status. And again, if you click it, you can see that here's your password that is hashed. And it's important to note that whenever Django stores passwords, they're not raw text. So that's actually good for our hackers. Whenever they you know, hack your database, they don't get anyone's password. And a bunch of these fields right there. So we can just go ahead and you know make the forms like we did before. But what you always want to do is you want to make these in kind of a different way. Now I say that because whenever I have a website and I want users to sign up, I really don't care about their first name or last name, or maybe there is some other thing that you want them to fill in. I don't know, maybe like their relationship status if you're making a dating site. So whenever you talk about user authentication or registration, you always want to handle it manually. So I'm going to show you guys the best way to do that. So let's close out all these. Got my cheeseburgers from the last tutorial. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this. In your Musics app, go ahead and right click and you're gonna make a new Python file and name it Forms. So you know like before, let me show you guys this. Whenever we wanted to create, let's say a new album, we just said, all right, we're gonna use this model, album, so it went over here, and it generated a new form based on this model. Well, that's essentially what we're gonna do with the users. However, since we wanna tweak it a little bit, for example, we don't need an input for first name and last name because we don't care about those. We're pretty much gonna inherit from users and overwrite whatever we want to or add whatever fields we want to. So in forms.py, what we're gonna do is say from Django contrib, off models import user. All right, so this is gonna give us the base user class, just a generic user class that we can use. So after this, what we wanna do is say from Django import forms. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a new user form class, and that's gonna tweak it to whatever we want to display on the form. So class user form, and this is just gonna inherit from forms, model forms. So again, whenever I talk to you guys about model classes, model forms, all you're doing right here is you're gonna make a blueprint that's gonna be used whenever you're making the forms. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a new class meta. Did I talk to you guys about class meta? It's basically information about your class. Sounds kind of weird, but there you go. So the base model is gonna be user. In other words, whenever a user creates or signs up for your site, it's just gonna go in the same table right here. So we're not creating anything you know, brand new. We're just saying what information we need out of them. So for the fields, what we wanna do is we just wanna say what fields do we want to appear on the form? So what I'm gonna request is they pick a username, their email address, and also their password. We can leave all the rest of the stuff out. So again, username, email, and password. Now up here, we actually need to specify the password. And all right. So the password is gonna be equal to forms dot character field. Now, if we just leave this like this, then it's just gonna be plain text. In other words, whenever the user tries to type in their password, it's not gonna give you those asterisks. It's gonna give you just you know text like this. So then anyone peeping over their shoulder can see what their password is. So how do we specify that this is actually a password field and you need to actually hide those characters? We'll just go ahead and write widget forms dot password input. So now whenever we display this form, what's gonna appear on the page for the user is uh, area to 
pick a username, write their email, and also their password. So now over in views, now that we have our blueprint of how we want the form to be laid out, taken care of, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do a bunch of cool stuff in this video. What I'm gonna do is not only whenever they register, it creates an account and pops their information into this database, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to have them log in automatically and that way you know on every page you can say hey Bucky or whatever custom information you want specific to them and aside from logging in I'm also going to show you guys after you submit the form it redirects you to I'll just redirect them to the home page but you may want to redirect them to I don't know like their profile page their news feed whatever so we need to import a bunch of stuff so from Django shortcuts we want to import render and also redirect. So this redirect module is going to redirect them to whatever page you want after they log in. And I also want to say from Django contrib auth import authenticate and login. So again, this authenticate, what this module is going to do is it's pretty much going to take a username and a password and is going to verify that they are indeed a user and they exist in the database in this login it just attaches a session id so then no matter what page you're on you don't have to like authenticate them every time and they don't have to log in every page it just gives them an id that they can use while they're browsing the site and you know a regular session id so now i'll stick this after this all right so from <coughs> jingo views generic import view and the last thing is we actually need to import this forms file that we just created so from forms that's the file name we want it what do we name it user form user form looking beautiful mate 